Ah, the National Assembly, the place where important decisions are made, and drama is as common as a K-drama plot twist. They're cranking up the R&D budget like it's a new dance move. Everybody's doing it. It's like they suddenly realize that investing in smart people might actually help the economy. Who'd have thought? Maybe next week they'll figure out funding for a reality show about how to allocate resources smartly. R&D is the magical fairy dust that can transform a boring economy into a high-tech wonderland. So, naturally, the assembly is all about boosting those funds. It's almost like they woke up one day and said, you know, we could really use some genius researchers instead of more laws about cats on subways. Perhaps their next meeting will be an episode of Whose Budget Is It Anyway? With new funding, these clever folks in lab coats might just save the economy from the dreaded and dismal nothingness that's been looming over South Korea. Who needs a superhero when you can just get a bunch of scientists with fancy equipment? Maybe they can invent a time machine to go back and fix those past decisions that didn't involve R&D. How about that for a plot twist? But wait, what does this mean for the common folk like you and me? Will there be vending machines stocked with research papers instead of snacks? Will universities start handing out R&D swag like t-shirts that say, I fund science, what's your superpower? At this rate, my coffee machine might also become a research facility. I just need it to brew a little better. And let's not forget the inevitable committee meetings where more ideas will be tossed around than a salad at a health food restaurant. I can just picture those scenes. Grown adults arguing over who has the best R&D plan while the janitor quietly sweeps up the future of the nation. Maybe they should just give the janitor more budget. Have you seen the skills with a broom? While we hope they don't allocate funds for another government-sponsored How to Laugh About Budget seminar, there's a glimmer of hope. Maybe, just maybe, this R&D bonanza is a sign that they finally realize that dollars spent on projects like self-driving soccer balls might actually be the key to world peace. Move over, military funding. So, as they scramble to get those funds flowing like Korean barbecue sauce, what's your verdict? Will this R&D initiative lead us to the future of flying cars, or just more government meetings filled with soggy donuts and PowerPoint slides? Are you ready for the possible tech utopia? Or do you prefer to stick with your charming manual coffee maker? What do you think, audience? Like and subscribe, please.